All right, guys, I haven't really made a video like this um, because, you know, I was always fearful that it would get taken down. But at this point, I don't really care because I just want to help you guys out. This is kind of usually what it looks like when I'm installing all of my mods and stuff like that. Currently, I uh, just got into installing Realism, and there's a ton of recommended mods uh, that they recommend or the mod author recommends that you install along with um, Realism. So to show you kind of how this works, I'm, I'm kind of going through my mods here. And what I usually do is I make a like a folder of all the zip files that you download um, when you go to their pages. And then I have my actual SPT um, folder right here, um, just the, the, the root folder with everything in it. And then I basically just download the mods that I want to have. Um, and then I kind of just drag them from here, throw them in here. And I'll show you how that works real quick. So which one do I not have? Uh, I have graphics already installed. I'll just show you one that maybe I don't have already. Let's just go with... Uh, where is it at? Um, we'll do big brain. So I need big brain. You need that for a lot of different stuff. So, so when you go into the zip file here, look, so to just click into it, got the beep and X folder right there. All you do is just drag it into here. And then your computer should usually just say copy to your root folder. Don't copy it to a specific folder. You can put it right in the beep and X if you want to, but right here you do that. And look, when that highlights it, that just means it updated and you can go in your beep and X, check in plugins right here and check it out. All of your BeepNX plugins that have been installed should be in there. So, yeah, pretty easy. And this works for pretty much everything. Um, when it's just a, when it's not a BeepNX one, it'll go into your user file right here. Uh, and then it will go into mods. And you'll see all your mods listed right here. And some of them have like the actual folders um, with things that you can configure, like SVM does. And you can check it out right there, click it in there, and then go configure everything. So, that's pretty much how it works. Pretty simple stuff, man.